six o'clock in the morning. The sun is just coming up. There's a nice easterly wind blowing us over this reef. So have a quick go for a few bass. Hopefully we get a couple. I'm gonna try and head out and get some mackerel. Today, I've got my lad with me, Lee. He's a bit camera shy, so, but I'm gonna try and get him his first bass today. So hopefully the bass are here. I can get a couple, show him what it's about and then get him one. You got a bass. Get the rod up. Up. That's it. Now reel down slowly. Don't rush. Take your time. Up. Hold it there. That's it. Now reel down slowly. Keep the line tight because you'll lose him. Up. I think he's got stuck in the bottom. Up. Keep it going. Hey, nice bass, Lee. Lee's second ever bass. How do you feel? Happy. Right, well, we'll get this fish unhooked and we'll show him you. Well, there's Lee's little bass he had. Might be a pound, maybe. But we'll try and get him another one now. Right, calm down a bit. We're going to pull his head off. <laughs> when it says the boat, it might go a bit mad. There's a nice bass coming in now. Get him in. You should try and leave a longer line if you can, Lee. There you go. Still another nice little bass. We'll get this one up now. Nice fresh mackerel. It's Lee's first time catching mackerel. Hopefully you can see us all right. We've got the sun right in our face up here. Well, I spun the boat round so you can see what we're doing. I'm getting the mackerel for bait, for the tote fishing and for the winter fishing off the shore. So I'll get as many as I can. And we're also going to the Celtic Deeps, try and get some blues soon, hopefully. So, the more mackerel, the better. No, I'm not sure anything, am I? We'll hit him again. Like that. Hey, mackerel! <laughs> Nice fresh mackerel. On the bottom? Yeah. Same down by the bottom. Fish? Yeah. You got mackerel? That's a big one. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What's the hooks? That's a really big one. It's fat. Don't drop it in this water. Thank God, say that. That's a nice one. It's really fat. Lead over. Swing it. Get a mackerel. That's 
some fish. Stay like this close to the bottom. The shoals are really patchy, but we're getting a few. I think then, the first mackerel. Spun. What I've got in this tub down here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, I've got coke bottles filled with water and frozen and then I put a bit of seawater in there I've got the odd camera I'll put a bit of seawater in there and then keep the mackerel nice and fresh I'll do this way Give the pots a pull, see what we can get. Got a couple of lobsters in there. Fingers crossed it's the keeper. Have a look now. Got this one. We'll measure him. He's a little bit close. Yeah, he's too small. I'll try and show you the measurement. When you measure the lobster, I got this gauge off eBay. In my area, the measurement's 90 mil. You measure from the back of the eye socket, from the back of the eye socket here, to the back of the carapace there. This is how the measurement goes from the back there to there. As you can see, that one's too small, by probably two mil. If I measure it this side, look. The back of the eye socket there, to the back of the carapace, this side. So this one has to go back. We've got this one, which is a female. This one's actually in size. I measured it just. It's just in size, but we can't keep this one. I'll show you why. It's full of eggs. If you ever get a lobster full of eggs, you need to put it back. So this one is gonna go back. But yeah, it's a nice size lobster, a nice size female. But we'll place it back. Right, we'll return this female now. There she goes. Straight to the bottom. More lobsters. I'll give this one a measure now. This one might just be in, but we have to have a check. But this one's not carrying any eggs. This one is a keeper. It's bang on 90 mil. As you can see there, look. Well, it's just over 90 mil. It won't actually go behind the carapace. And that's in the eye socket. The back of the eye socket. So this one is a keeper. So I'll take this one home. Got a few prawns in here. Show you what we've got in 
here first. Little tiny velvet swimming crab. Tiny little one. Quite aggressive these are. There's a little tiny wrasse. That might actually be a cork wing wrasse because of this black spot. I'm not 100%. I'll put a caption up in the video here. It's a nice little fish, look. Goby. And then we've got a couple of blennies. They've got little things there. I don't know if you can see that on the video. A bit above their eyes. It's a little Tom Pot blenny. And they've got little teeth on them as well, if you look. So the teeth. Well, we're getting back. And there's a few there's a few more then. There's another one. The colours on them are mad. Look at the colours around the pectoral fins there. And in that pot then as well, we had a couple of prawns. See if we can get some more on the other ones. Got the same again, some blennies. It's amazing out here today. Have a look at this. Well, we're heading back in now. Lee had his first bass and his first mackerel today. We'll get back in now and get home. Lee, wave. It's been a good day. Time to head in.